Hi, my name is Dr. Sara Nick Rivon. I'm a cardiothoracic anesthesiologist, an intensivist, and also a point of care ultrasound specialist. And oftentimes when I'm in the ICU or in the operating room, I'm trying to understand why my patients are hypotensive. And evaluation of the RV is extremely important for my practice. Um, one of the best ways that you can do this is basically going to the, cardi to the presets and selecting cardiac. And once you're in the cardiac preset, you can go to the apical four chamber view where you put the probe, where you think the point of maximal impulse is on the chest. Um, and you kind of uh, are able to here get the right ventricle next to the left ventricle and really evaluate the RV function. Now sometimes this view can be challenging. Uh, it's helpful to put the patient like we did here, turn to the left side and you can do that by sticking pillows underneath the right side for example. And you really want to focus on that tricuspid annulus, the lateral portion of the tricuspid annulus, because we're looking for that vertical motion. It's called tricuspid annular plane systolic excursion, or TAPSI. And you can do uh, your evaluation of the tricuspid annular systolic motion by selecting M mode and putting it right on that tricuspid annulus and looking for the vertical motion, or as we say in short, the TAPSI, um, at the tricuspid annulus to see what, how much uh, motion do you have vertically uh, for obtaining this uh, measurement. Uh, and once you do that, you're gonna freeze your image on M mode uh, and you're gonna look at the wave that you have from the M mode and measure the distance from the bottom of the wave to the top of the wave. So we're gonna just come to the bottom of the wave here. We're gonna go to the top of the wave here and once we do that, we can see that uh, he's got about 2.13 centimeters of vertical motion or 2.13 centimeters of TAPSI, and that's totally normal. If a patient had a TAPSI that was 1.7 centimeters or less, you would be worried that they had RV dysfunction and then would uh, adjust your treatment modalities to treat the RV dysfunction and hopefully recover the hemodynamic stability that you're looking for in your patient. And that's just a quick method that you can use the Butterfly IQ for evaluation of RV dysfunction.